Hello everyone. Welcome to Monday and all people who are in the US are getting ready to, for election day tomorrow. But we are going to bring you Denise Kelly from UK. Denise is a passionate naturopathic nutritionist and she will be joining me for one to talk about superfoods. So um, as I said, Denise is a naturopathic nutritional therapist. There you are. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Well, How are you? Figured it out. <laughs> I know we did it. <laughs> okay, so we had a, a change of hours, so I got confused with the times a little bit. But um, thank you so much for joining from UK, and and uh, you know I was just telling our viewers that you are a naturopathic nutritional therapist. Um, you know who you run your clinic in UK, and you help clients with a personalized nutrition planning. Um, and, and you also uh, deliver a lot of webinars internationally. So today's topic is on superfoods. So I'll let you start now. Oh gosh, yes, superfoods. I mean, it's such a massive, massive subject because there's so many different trains of thought around what a superfood is and is there any scientific evidence and different people, you know, have different views on different foods. And to be honest, when you said to me, talk about superfoods and, you know, mention your top 10 there. It was really hard to kind of whittle it down because I mean, basically the definition of a superfood is a food that is really nutrient dense um, in vitamins, fiber, fats, you know, whatever it may be, minerals. Um, and it's really condensed. So that food, that particular food offers a massive array of vitamins and minerals and goodness to a person if they're eating them regularly. Wow, wow. So let's talk about a few of the foods that are considered as superfoods and, and, and people are doing all kind of emojis. I love that and, and you're welcome to ask questions. So let's talk about three or four foods that you, you know, that are defined as superfoods. Okay, so, you know, I use, and I'll talk about these afterwards, but I use a lot of superfood powders with my clients. Okay. Um, and I, I absolutely love them because they really, for me, they really elevate somebody's health. Um, but foods, as in food substances, um, you know, proper food that is really amazing that I would say, okay, if I had to choose a few, they'd be berries. So berries, uh, blueberries, raspberries, they're really, really high in antioxidants. Um, you know, super full of, um, you know, vitamin C, potassium, um, you know, and they really help to lower your risk of sort of heart disease, um, cancer risk, things like that, because they're really high in antioxidants. So berries are a really easy um, food that you can have all year round. Um, and everybody, I mean, I don't think I've met anybody that doesn't like berries in yeah. some form. So, you know, they're tasty, they're sweet, they kind of give you that sweet fix if you have more of a sweet tooth. Um, the second one has to be the dark leafy greens. So things like kale, spinach, broccoli, um, because they're really high in chlorophyll. Um, and chlorophyll is really good at kind of cleansing the blood. These are really high antioxidant foods that help to remove toxins from the body. Mm -hmm. And I always say to my clients, you know, if they want to feel um, like they've got more energy, they want to get maybe get out of pain if they have an inflammatory disease, something like that, then lots of green, dark green leafy vegetables really help to reduce inflammation in the body. And if you're, you know, a person that will maybe not sit there and eat a pile of green vegetables, you know, for your um, lunch or whatever, it's a really good idea to pop them into a smoothie because you don't really taste, you know, the dark greens. And when you when yeah. you mention this to people, some of my clients, if it's quite new to them, they were like, oh, that's disgusting. How can I put broccoli in a smoothie or, you know, kale yeah. in a smoothie or whatever? But actually, if you disguise it with the berries, um, you know, and maybe something sweet like an apple or something like that, and then you can throw your superfoods in there as well, things like chlorella, spirulina, um, you know, some maca or baobab, all those kind of superfoods um, or powdered superfoods just help to elevate your health to another level. And when I talk about this, I, I always, I, I don't ever want to feel like I'm kind of selling it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I just want people to try it because 
the proof is always in the pudding, <laughs> so to speak. Mm -hmm. And once you start to incorporate these foods, and it's the regularity as well of having mm -hmm. these foods into your diet. So, um, you know, just, just having the dark green leafies, the berries every day. The other thing as well is sweet potatoes. This time of year, depending on where you are on the planet, but here in the UK right now, it's cold, it's yeah. dark, it's rainy. We want more comfort foods. Mm -hmm. um, so sweet potatoes as well. Sweet potatoes are fabulous. You can do so much with them. You can have them raw. You can have them in a juice. You can grate them and have them, you know, it's like a coleslaw. You can have yeah. them baked so they're nice and warm. And you can put pepper and some, you know, cayenne pepper on top. You can cut them into little potato chips. You know, they, and again, they are super, super high in your vitamins A, um, vitamins B, C, they got iron, calcium, all those really kind of rich foods that help to really support the body and really, really versatile. Um, and the other superfood, and these get really overlooked, um, I think in health, unless you're kind of, you know about these things, because I think a lot of people, they don't know what to do with them. And I'm talking about beans. Um, yeah. Beans are so important. In anybody that wants sustained energy, mm -hmm. um, and you can put them in anything. You can throw them in a soup or a stew, um, or you can even just sort of have them on their own with an avocado and just put some nice spices. Spices mm -hmm. are the key, and you'll yeah. probably know this, but spices are the key to making everything taste good. You know, right. and it's got to taste good. Your food, you've got to look forward to it and enjoy it because that's half of, um, you know, the sort of healing and the nourishing element Mm -hmm. to having a really good diet and having really good nutrition is mm -hmm. looking forward to it and knowing that that food is going to nourish you. And I think it's about food is like a mindset as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I have clients who have a really sweet tooth or they are, you know, really addicted to say crisps or high salt things, they really, um, you know, it's about knowing what each thing that you are going to eat is going to do for you. And that's all about education and, you know, and feeling the difference from the food that you're eating. That's amazing. And even the beetroot, um, uh, I think we, uh, beetroot has now, uh, people are talking about beetroot also as a superfood uh, as well. You know, yeah. Uh, so how can you use beetroots? I mean, I just shred it and I, I'll eat it as a salad, but uh, yeah. it, what else can we do with the beetroot or if anyone? Oh, yeah, beetroot is Fabulous. Beetroot is all about the circulation and clean blood. Yeah. And beetroot, beetroot, you can have, I would always say to people, if you're going to have beetroot, try to have it raw because raw is always best. So a lot of people, when you say beetroot, associate it with the pickled, you know, you get in a jar and it's pickled. And a lot of the goodness has really been removed when it's been processed like this. So you want it raw. If you are a juice person, then put it in your juice. You can put it in your smoothie. If you want your smoothie to look vibrant and if that makes a difference to your brain and the way that you like to see things it makes a juice look phenomenal you know like a strawberry kind of milkshake yeah <laughs> um so yeah juice it juice it put it in a smoothie and just grate it grate it and have it on your vegetables grate it and have it on the top of your soup it's crunchy um you know it just adds a little bit of texture to your diet but yeah beetroot is fabulous so you also have, you talked about the powders, right? So let's talk a little bit more about, is there some kind of a different type of powders for different types of um, issues, or not issues, but, you know, general health and wellness? So let's just talk yeah. a little bit about that. Um, well, the superfood powders. So we've just developed a, a, a range of blends with superfood powders in because a lot of my clients were, you know, I would sort of say to them, right, you need this, this, and this. And there's quite a few for different ailments. So what I wanted to do is put it all into sort of a few packets, you know, some for sleep, some for skin. So mm -hmm. for example, for skin, if you have any skin issues, yeah. um, Baobab is an amazing superfood powder. And this is really high in vitamin C. It helps with the elasticity of the skin, um, as well as rose powder. Rose powder is quite unusual, mm -hmm. but rose powder is used a lot in Ayurvedic medicine. And mm -hmm. it is just, it just gives you that inward kind of glow. Um, and actually, when I was doing some more research on rose powder, it's also physically really good for healing the heart as well. So a lot of these superfoods have 
amazing like triple you know purposes even more than that you know but different ones so the other really um amazing one that i absolutely love using with myself and my clients is maca as mm -hmm. well um now yeah. maca's grown at high altitude it's really amazing for anyone with any hormonal imbalances mm -hmm. what i find it does for people is it just helps to really ground you and make you feel really strong and back in control and you know control of your emotions and you know whatever it is that you're facing whatever challenges you're facing mm -hmm. maca seems to really help you to feel that sustained energy and strength and with all of these superfood powders, you know, you don't need masses. So it's not like a really, the reason I love them, number one, because they're a food substance. Yeah. So our body knows what to do with it. So we can absorb it really well. Um, and we're not, you know, sort of wasting it if you like. You know, sometimes if you have a vitamin, um, you know, some people say, oh my gosh, I've just had a vitamin pill and, you know, my wee is bright yellow. <laughs> and actually the body is just dispersing it because it doesn't quite know what to do with it. Um, yeah. But with the superfood powders, your body just absorbs, you know, exactly what it needs. It knows yeah. what to do with it. And it just, it gives you almost an instant feeling of goodness. And it, especially over a few day period, you know, you can feel really, really good on, on powder superfoods quite quickly. Um, the other one is um, chlorella. Chlorella is a really classic favorite of mine because chlorella, you know, obviously the chlorophyll, um, the dark mm -hmm. greens, it offers a lot of strength, it offers a lot of minerals, but chlorella not only offers a huge amount of um, goodness to the cells, but it also helps to remove toxins. So it acts like a little bit of a Pac-Man. So it helps to remove any toxins or, you know, baddies and, and it helps to balance the gut as well so it helps to produce good enzymes it helps to really balance the bacteria in the gut and chlorella for anybody that has um any digestive issues i would say you know mixing chlorella with a little bit of ginger powder mm -hmm. and you are going to find that your digestion just calms right down and your liver's going to thank you for it and you're just going to feel better and brighter you know in yourself really um, so what's the ingredient of the, yeah, like, uh, so there is in, uh, in this, what kind of ingredient would there be in, in this chlorella? Oh, chlorella is just a natural substance. It's a blue-green algae. Okay, just, so, so you is, just make that into a powder yeah. form. So yes. we can take it in the powder form and, yes. and saying mix it with the ginger powder and then just uh, yes. helps the digestion. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so there's, there's lots of different combinations for certain things, which is why we devised these blends because i was thinking okay this is a lot for people to you know to sort of buy them all individually so let's put them all together so there's a one um, blend for sleep uh which has carrot powder and turmeric and a little bit of ginger because again with the sleep you know if somebody is is really having problems going off to sleep sometimes not always but a lot of the time it's because the digestive system you know people eat late it hasn't quite calmed down and if you calm the digestive system down and you give the body some anti-inflammatory superfood powders, then it helps to send you off on a much better quality night's sleep. And it's the same, you know, with the skin. The skin is all about anti-inflammatory. Um, and I had a, a guy the other week and he contacted me and he's a real gym bunny. And he said to me, you know, Denise, I'm, I'm really struggling to recover. He was doing a, a weightlifting competition. And he said, I'm struggling to recover. So, you know, what do I use? So I gave him, um, you know, sort of the stupa, which is a blend of green powders. So things like chlorella, spirulina, wheatgrass, um, barley grass, because this just helps to give the body a huge amount of strength, recovery, mm -hmm. cell repair, muscle repair. You know, the, mm -hmm. these powders are, they're, in, they're incredible. And I've been using them for years with my clients. Um, and I, I definitely think they are, they're better known now, so they're not so alien to people. Um, so mm -hmm. they're more willing to kind of include them in their diet. But the, the benefits are absolutely huge, I would say. Absolutely. So then, you know, there are so many vitamins that are available. You know, like the US, we go to Costco and they're kind of vitamins. I mean, to a user, 
and I'm a user. It's very confusing, you know, and, and that's why we bring someone like you to, to educate, um, you know, everyone, including me. Like, you know, there are some white ones you can buy it, then there's an ashwagandha, then there is the superfood, then there's a, this is too much, you know, for, for our brain to process. <laughs> I don't know how people I know. are joining. I mean, you're welcome to, people are welcome to put feedback and, uh, you know, put their comments, but as a user, you know, it's it's overwhelming to understand, you know, what is good for a user yeah. or what is not good for a user. So yeah. that's my, you know. Yeah, it is. You know what? I'm, what, what I don't want to do is I don't want to sort of, you know, I have my opinions. And the reason I have my opinions is because I've been working in a clinical environment yeah. for 15 years. So yeah. you get to know what works and what doesn't work. So my opinion... Yeah is my um, experience and, you know, everything that I've learned over the years. Um, so my preference with my clients and the way that I see results is purely to use food. So proper food. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things that I try and steer really clear of is calories. Yeah. So, you know, because I think people get very focused on calorie intake and this is what they should have. You know, and really and truly, in my eyes, if we want to have really good, amazing health, we need to look at the goodness in each and every food. So it's about, it's not just about what we are having, it's about making sure that we are not having the processed foods, um, you know, the foods that are high fat foods, um, you know, that, as in the, the wrong fats. So having lots of good fats, as in avocados, um, you know, in good fish oils and things like that are all going to be super beneficial to us from a heart function, from a brain power. Things like chia seeds, um, flax seeds, they are yeah. so good for hormonal imbalances and strength in both men and women. Because what I find, because everybody's so busy, they have this, you know, I haven't got time to eat and then I'm starving and then I'm going to eat the wrong thing. And then, you know, I just want my quick fix. But if you're having things in your diet, um, like the chia seeds and the flax seeds, either in some porridge in the morning or you're having it in a green smoothie that you can have some in the morning and some in the afternoon, you're going to get this sustained energy, which is really key to brain function, um, you know, how you feel on an energetic level every day, whether at the end of the day you still feel like you've got a shed load more energy or whether you feel like you know you're just going to crash and burn you know and also introducing the beans as we talked about earlier into the diet because again yeah. it's a very sustained kind of energy and having those you know i'm very plant-based um and you know i feel that we get a lot of our nutrients from uh you know very natural plant-based foods unprocessed foods etc so, you know, if you're somebody that's maybe just starting out on this journey and you know, you know, that you're eating a lot of meat um, and you've got things in your diet that maybe you want to cut out, the key for me is just to include so much of the good stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, cut your meat in half and add more vegetables, you know, and gradually you'll feel yourself feeling really light because it's a weird thing to say, but the less we eat, you know, we don't need piles and piles of food. We just need the right food. So when yeah. you're having the right nutrients in a day, mm -hmm. you don't feel that massive hunger where you're just going to reach for the biscuits or the chips or the cake or whatever it may be. You're satisfied. So, you know, when you're having the sweet potatoes, when you're having the greens, when you're having the berries, when you're, you know, you're going to feel satisfied. And you almost feel like, I've had clients experience it and I've experienced it myself many times over the years where you've got so much energy and it's not that fake kind of coffee energy. It's a real like true energy where you, you know, still at 10 o'clock at night, you could still continue yeah. to, you know, do whatever it is you do, go to the gym, go for a run, whatever, because you have that real clarity and that real energy. And I think with that as well brings it just brings confidence and success and all those other things that we kind of want when we exude great health. 
So That's they're great. all, yeah. I don't even know if I answered your question and I went off on a massive... No, no, this, no, this is, <laughs> no, this is great. This is great. I, I mean, I get, the, I get the logic. Anyone who has any comments and any feedback, you're welcome, welcome to ask questions. You know, we are just trying to bring uh, snippets of small topics. And, you know, if Denise has time, we would love to have Denise back you know, on, on another topic, but, but today's topic has been superfoods and, and it makes sense what you're saying is, you know, you can't eat every day, all the different things, but you put it in a powder form and at least have the nutrition that go in it, it that's plant based. That's, that's what yes. I mean. Yeah. Anything yeah. else you'd like and to uh, add before we wrap up? <laughs> sure, go ahead, please. Yeah, I, I don't even know how long we've got. I could go on all day. Um, but the one thing I would love to say, um, so, one of the key things to nutrition is that small changes, people think that they have to suddenly go from eating processed foods and white breads and everything else to just stopping it all and you know completely transforming their life. And nine times out of 10, in my experience, that yeah. doesn't last, it's not sustainable. Yeah. So introducing small things every day, but then sticking with those things. So introducing one superfood into your diet every day, different one every day. So keep the berries and then introduce something else. That is you know, true. have more sweet potatoes, have more water yeah. with, you know, in your, in your water, put the cucumbers, put the, you know, lemons and the limes, make the water really alkalizing because it's very much about having the anti-inflammatory foods in order to sustain good energy and good health. Um, you know, but you can have so many things that you can introduce very slowly but you'll start to really feel the difference and i don't know whether i'm allowed to plug my book <laughs> so i've just written a book oh, the Art a of Health yeah no no go ahead yeah no, which has oh, just been published wow that's amazing it's called the Art that's, of Health that's Living. amazing no i think what we what we would like to do is have smaller sessions with you on a regular basis like a 15 minute session on a, any topic and and you're welcome yeah. to uh, you know uh, show your book to everyone. This is something to be very proud of. <laughs> <laughs> I am I, I am really proud of it, and I think one of the things that people are saying about it is that it is that's exactly what it's about. It's about starting slowly, giving people really good sustainable ideas to yeah. really create a healthy lifestyle. It's not about a fad diet. Healthy it's lifestyle. About what yeah. you do this week. Yeah, it's just a generally you know, sort of good ideas for a really healthy lifestyle. That's great. That's great. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, anyone who has any oh, feedback, you. you're welcome to let us know. Uh, we, uh, Denise, uh, hopefully she'll be, she'll be back with us on another topic. You know, mm -hmm. one of the smaller topics for 15, 20 minutes. Uh, so uh, thank you so much and have a great day, Denise. Oh, thank you. Thank you. thank you so much. It's been lovely to talk to you. Yes, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.